Hey guys, welcome to our channel. We are grateful to have you here. We do post weekly videos on woodwork and home deco DIYs. If you're interested in any of these areas, stay with us. On this week's video, we will be sharing with you how we made a simple dining table with four dining chairs. We started our project by making the chairs followed by the dining table. For the chairs, we did use 12 by 2 by 10 feet pieces of wood. So as to make the four chairs, we'll need eight pieces of the back posts. To create the back posts, we did cut a piece of plywood in the shape of our back posts and trace them down on the wood. Once we were done with tracing the eight of them, we went ahead and used the bandsaw to cut them out. Afterwards, we used a hand plane to remove all the saw blade marks on the back posts. To create an ear on each of the back posts, we used a spoke shave. The ear is the topmost part of the back posts. Once done with the back posts, we went ahead to create the front legs. For this, we did use 2 by 2 pieces of wood, measured the required height and cut them on the meter saw. So as to join the back posts and the front legs, we need to create mortises and tenons. We did this by using a square to mark where the tenons will be placed. We then used a router with half an inch bit to create the mortise for both the front and the back rails. On the meter saw, we did cut the spindles that will join the legs in the back posts. We then created the tenons on each spindle and refitted them on the back post and front legs. With those few steps, we created the basic structure of our chairs. Macu, the pieces are just try fitted and can be dismantled to add other pieces. Next, we created the back splat. This is the part where the back rests when one is seated. We did this by cutting four pieces of MDF measuring 15 by 14 inches. In each piece, we drew diagonal lines which were one inch apart, descending down in an inverted triangle shape. We then went in with the router to create grooves and used a round over bit to give the grooves a smooth and neat finish. This would form our box plat design. Next, we applied glue on the back posts and attached the back splats. We did the same to the spindles or the back cross rails. We used clamps to hold everything together as we nailed them in place. We repeated the process for the front legs and side spindles.
We then attach the back spots and front legs together to create the chairs. That's the process we used for all the four chairs. We left the glue on the chairs to dry for some time as we embarked on making the dining table. For the table we did use 3 by 3 by 30 inch pieces of wood for the legs and 1 by 3 inch pieces for the apron. We planned all these pieces to remove the rough points. On the meter saw so we trimmed the table legs into a 30 inch size. On the 3x3s we created mortises using a router and on the 3x1s we did tenons using the meter saw. After dry fitting the 3x3s and the 3x2s and had a perfect fit, we glued them together, clamped them and nailed them in place. Since our table design did not have a lower rail, we attached a sacrificial pallet hood at the bottom to hold the table legs in a perfect square until all the glue dried up. On the table so we did cut out one and a half inch strips of wood which we will use to bind the tabletop. For the tabletop we used half a sheet of block board which we trimmed to size using a circular saw and the table saw. Off the camera we did apply several coats of white paint both on the chairs and table frames. To create the tabletop we did cut the one and a half inch strips which will form a binding on each side of the block board. We planed them and cut their edges at an angle of 45 degrees on the meter saw. We then attached them on the block board using glue and nails.
To complete our chairs, we created the seat using 2-inch sponge and fabric. To protect the seat, we added a waterproof PVC cover. For our tabletop finishing, we mixed mahogany and walnut stain. We then applied two coats and sanded in between each coat. We did several coats of clear varnish and before doing the last two coats we sanded with steel wool and then used a sponge to apply the last coats. This should give us a smooth and shiny tabletop. We applied the same process on the chairs. That's how we did this dining table with the four dining chairs. That's it guys for this week's video. If you enjoyed the content, please promote the video by giving it a thumbs up. We have more videos coming up, so subscribe to get them first. Thank you for clicking into Crafts by Doty. We will see you on our next one.